Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to give the laser a thorough cleaning. Alright guys, so this thing over uh, the holidays really, uh, we did a lot of cutting and a lot of uh, etching on canvases. So burning that paint off has left this thing uh, absolutely filthy. So we are going to get in here and get this cleaned up as well as we can. I'm going to start with a vacuum and just vacuum up dust. It's everywhere and it's bad. You can see, just running my hand on it, it gets real bad. So we're going to vacuum all that up. Then uh, we will use different cleaners. Going to take the laser head off and do some cleaning on that separately. Uh, with denatured alcohol. Uh, you can also use isopropyl alcohol. Just make sure it's a high percentage uh, so that it will evaporate after you wipe on it. And then we're going to use Totally Awesome. And with that, we're going to clean the frame. We're going to get in as much as we can on the belts. And we're going to get the wheels as well because they are gross. So let's get it vacuumed first and then we will start pulling it apart and getting it clean. All right, we've got the four acorn nuts. You can see everything's filthy. I'm gonna get these off. Then we can remove the Z-axis. And I'm gonna set that aside for right now. And we're gonna get in here with a towel and the totally awesome cleaner. Link for this in the description. So I'm just going to wipe, you know, everything down. Now on these wheels, I'm going to hold the towel with the cleaner on it and then I'm going to move it. So that spins it, allows me to get uh, fully around the wheel. I'm going to do that on all of them. Spinning them back and forth. Get them all clean. Top and bottom, look at that. So. Just keep moving your towel around to get different spots. And then we'll also do the whole frame. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the belt as good as I can. So I'm just gonna hold kind of in there, top and bottom, and move it all the way one way. And then Back. Goodness. Back the other way. Be careful, it'll pinch you. Sweet. A lot of gunk coming out of that. Get down in as well as I can. Get that all. Nice and clean. We're also gonna do the same thing here. Getting it all as clean as we can. Whole frame. And then we're going to do these three wheels on the side. Only three wheels on the sides, four in the middle. So get them all. All right, that is the frame everywhere cleaned. 
There's some dirt down in it that I couldn't get out, so I'm gonna grab the uh, air compressor and we're gonna hose that out real quick. All right, so we've got the laser module left. Uh, this thing is dirtier than all of it. Uh, we're gonna start with taking off the air assist and uh, then we'll get it cleaned as much as we can. Hard to see down in here, but it's really brown dust. So that's probably from burning wood. It's kicking back up in. Uh, as the soot goes, so we'll definitely clean that out as well. It's the same as all of this, it's just everywhere. So we definitely need to get that as clean as we can. This is when I'm using the denatured alcohol. So we're going to clean the lens. Just put it in there as good as you can and twirl that around. Look how gross that was. Just gonna use the other side as well to kind of dry it out as best I can. Get anything that's left. Yep, it's looking good. We get a fresh one and then I'm gonna go over the rest of that. Be careful when you're unplugging these, you don't want to break anything. And here's your circuit board. You can see how absolutely dirty it is there. The fan is crazy dirty as long as well as most of this housing. So isopropyl or denatured alcohol and a lot of Q-tips. We're going to get this cleaned up. All right, that is the heat sink. I'm gonna set that aside and we will move on to the fan. I didn't say this before I started, uh, but make sure and unplug your machine before you do any of this. Well, flip it over, get the other side of the fans. Now be careful with this piece, don't use anything that's going to cross connections, you can short them out. So be careful and we'll get it clean. All right, last step, uh, we're gonna clean out uh, the air assist piece. And this one, as you remember, was filthy. Yup. Got that nice and clean. Time to put it back together, but uh, I'm gross, so I'm gonna get cleaned up first and then we will uh, start assembling again. gonna plug it in first and then we will start getting it put together all right I am NOT gonna tighten these until I've got all four in just because 
I want to be able to wiggle it around and make sure that I can get them all in. Don't forget your grounding piece. Keep it on the same one if you want. Just line it up and we'll start tightening them down. I'm going to do it all by hand so I don't over tighten anything. Now the air assist can go back on. Make sure <laughs> your hose is where you want it first and then put your air assist back on. I'm going to put this on first and then I will get the wires back in. So your four screw points. Laser power. And motor. Now, if everything works but the laser doesn't fire when you put it back in, it's probably that. So just pay attention, get all of your cables tightened back up in all spots. Both your, your motor here as well as your motor out here. Make sure everything is plugged in. Tighten down your acorn nuts. All right, we're gonna clean the bed as well because it's covered. Uh, make sure uh, for our last step, we're gonna plug it in and make sure that it works again. All right, we have it set back up in the enclosure uh, and first things first, awesome. It comes on, so that's a good start. Perfect, it frames just like it should. I'm gonna shift and click frame. Laser is coming on like it should. All right, so now let's just run a burn test or a little bit of it, make sure it fires and starts running. All right, so the laser's clean and working. Great, yeah, it looked really good. Uh, You've cleaned the lens once. Yeah, I cleaned the lens before when I was suspicious of uh, it being dirty and causing us to need more power to cut different things. Um, it, it's really probably going to depend on the usage that you have, how right. often you need to clean it. Um, but I started to notice a buildup of uh, the paint after yes. doing... Several um, canvases. Several, several <laughs> canvases, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.